Hello, hello everyone. This is Jennifer Sinceri. Happy Friday. Let me make sure that we are all situated here and that you can see. All right. It is June 16th, I believe, if I am correct, 2023. Hi, Lori. How are you, friend? So, I have been busy, busy, busy all week working on getting everything done for the retreat that's next weekend. And, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I can't wait to post pictures so you guys can see everything. But it is a lot of work, people. A lot of work. So tonight I'm going to go easy. <laughs> I'm going to play with one of our kits. But I also am going to show you some alternatives using the really, really cute stamp set that comes with this set. So this is a kit that just came out. It's called the Confetti Birthday Kit. And it is $23, which is a fabulous, fabulous deal. I want to show you, excuse me, everything that comes with it. Let me pull, I'm going to pull the one that I haven't played with yet so that you can see what it looks like. So all of our kits come um, sealed. You don't have to worry about things falling out, but it comes with this really nice box that I, I love to use these boxes. I repurpose the boxes after I've done my kits and I use them um, for storage. I use them for when I'm working on projects and I need to keep all the pieces together. I use them for gift giving. Um, I just decorate them up a little bit on the front. They're a great size, so you get a cool box. And then, this is what it looks like inside. So for $23, you're going to get a fabulous, fabulous value. You get ink, and we get a blueberry bushel ink spot with this particular kit. You get an all-exclusive stamp set. And this one has one, two, three, four stamps with it. And then you get all the consumables okay and it has three designs and you're going to make three of each so this is nine shaker cards okay now i've pulled mine apart and i'll show you i don't want to take this one apart because i'm going to sell this one on my cash and carry table so one of the things you get you get tear and tape you get i showed you i did i show you, you get a block you get a block now, I opened all my confetti so that I could start using it, and I poured it in a container because I wanted to get all of the bits. But I am going to tell you, when I was taking my confetti out, some of it sticks in the bag. It's just static cling, and so you just got to play with it and get all the little pieces out, okay? But those are the fillers, and I'm going to hold that up so you guys can see it. There's little pearls in there and just different sequins. They're really cute. How's my lighting, everyone? Do we need more light? Just let me know, because I actually haven't turned up all my lamps. I just have the ceiling light on. Here's a lamp. If that helps, let me know. Okay. Now, I was kind of surprised, because I was like, okay, how are we doing these um, shaker cards? Well, they use little envelopes. Now, you may have seen faker shaker cards that's something that came out recently and where are my regular clear let's see if i have them here on the table they might not be close at hand um these are like mini clear envelopes let's see i've got a here's a, a package of the regular size and i use these when i am selling my cards or i'm giving my cards away these are just like it. They're just smaller, okay? So these come in the kit. So it's like a faker shaker card. Um, some shaker cards use like a foam, double-sided foam. We're going to use clear envelopes, okay? 
All right, I was just turning on some more lights. I don't know if that makes it better or not. You guys can let me know. You also get some Stampin' Dimensionals. All right. And then I already started sorting pieces, but you're gonna get all the pieces to make your cards. Now, like I said, there's three designs. Check out these really cute envelopes. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got that one. We've got that one. And then we have this one. So you get envelopes that have these really fun designs on them. Okay. Then you're going to get the card bases. Let me put this away so we don't get that. There's a little sequin. Oh, there's another sequin, that static cling. All right, so this is one card base, okay? Um, here and here's another one, and it has some pieces that you're gonna punch out. It looks like a birthday cake when we do it. And then this is the other card base, and when we pop this out, it's gonna be a present, okay? And then we have the pieces. Oh, look, I have another sequin in my nail. How funny. Um, we've got the backings that we're going to put those clear envelopes on. All right. And then we've got the pieces that we're going to be stamping our sentiments on. Okay. Now, save time. I tried to punch everything out beforehand and um, have it here. Now, I want you to make sure you stay to the end of the video because, like I said, I want to show you the value of what you're getting for $23. You're getting nine shaker cards, but you also have leftover pieces and you're going to have that exclusive stamp set. And I want to show you what you can do with these stamps after your kit is done, okay? All right, so stay with me. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to put these aside and we're going to work on this one first. Okay, we're going to stamp um, Oh Happy Day on this one. So let's find it. Put it on a block. I like to use my grid paper to make sure that my stamp is straight. We do sell the grid paper for customers, so that's nice. Okay, and I'm going to use my ink spot because my other stamp sets um, are all in my little baskets for my retreat. I'm doing, everything's coastal for this retreat, beachy coastal. And uh, so that means I'm using a lot of blues. All right, now this has a silver outline on it and if you like the silver great if you don't you can always turn it over and use the plain black let me make sure I get a little bit more ink on here because it doesn't look like that's covered really well I was talking not looking all right ooh ooh I'm dropping my ink okay here we go let me make sure I get this centered now, photopolymer, I like to let it sit and let that ink absorb into the paper. So just a couple seconds. And then we're just going to pry that off. Okay, there it is. Oh, happy day. And then we are also going to stamp the um, candle. I just went blank. The candle. All right, and I'm gonna leave these pieces in and then do my stamping and then pop them out, all right? I don't know why, That's just that just seems to be how my brain wants to do it. How are you guys all doing? How was your week? Um, I, I think this is my second week of summer break. And how many are we gonna do? Let's do five. So I'm gonna start right in the middle, okay?
So I did a little bit of yard work this week, trying to do it in the morning before it gets too hot. I've still got a lot of yard work that I have to do. All my little pots, um, the plants seem to have died here and there. We had a very cold winter and a lot of my plants just didn't make it. Um, I have a lot of succulents and um, some perennials. And if you've been on my page, you've seen my vegetable garden. I'm super excited it's doing well, although some of my strawberry plants died. And I'm gonna have to replace them or just go without. I don't know. Um, I don't know if the nursery is still going to have vegetable plants and strawberry plants and whatnot. You only sell them for a little while, you know. It's a seasonal thing. Um, what else did I do? I did, I if surprisingly, because my kids are at camp, I am all caught up on the laundry. Oh my gosh, not having children in the house, it's amazing. There's hardly any laundry. Um, and hardly any dishes. It's so funny. It's like the kids are, they just, <laughs> they use up all the towels and all the dishes. <laughs> okay. That looks really cute. Now I'm going to punch out these pieces. I don't know what I could use those pieces for. I always look at things and go, hmm, what could I use that for? Because I hate to throw anything away, but I don't think we can use that for anything. <laughs> All right. And it looks like there, it looks like I'm looking at the picture here. And there's something right there. So let me go back and look at my dies here and see, did I miss something? Because I don't, I didn't see anything. So I'm wondering, I don't see anything in here like that. So I wonder what that is. Unless it's one of those pieces. No, duh, oh my goodness, silly me. It's right there. I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm going, hmm, but my placement's all white, so I didn't see it. That's so funny. Okay. Now, we're going to score this. They already come scored, so I'm just going to pull my bone folder and burnish that. It has a yellow. I'm not sure what yellow this is, but just yellow dots, kind of like confetti, all over that white card base. All right, and then we're going to fill this up. And we're going to place it on here and then that's going to go under like this okay all right and it looks like I've got inky hands inky hands all right so we're going to open this clear envelope and we'll try that again we're going to open the envelope there we go I'm just going to instead of pinching I'm going to do it like this. Although, the only thing is all the little blue stars seem to be the ones that are like staticky and um, sticking at the bottom. Now I'm looking at this gun. How much do we really need? Because this is supposed to make nine cards. So you don't want to use too much. I've already filled two bags up to just kind of save time, but I wanted to show you how to do this. So I just took off the little peely piece. So now there's a sticky part right here. All right, and so we're gonna fold the flap over onto the sticky piece and just press that down. And that keeps all the sequins in this bag, okay? I'm trying to move them around. There we go. They don't move around too much in there. All right. Let's see. Now, this is going to get 
put onto this piece. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with our tear and tape. So now this is not a full roll of tear and tape. We sell this in our adhesive section of the catalog. You can also find it online. All right, but they give you enough to do the projects in this kit. All right, and so we're just going to tear it. And it's like a really, really sticky double-sided tape. But the fun thing is, you don't have to use scissors, you just tear it. Now, I'm thinking I probably should do it on all four ends just to be safe. What do you guys think? I could maybe get away with just doing two sides, but who wants to risk it? I don't. This stuff is really sticky. All right, now, you pick tool comes in hand. I'm looking at your um, comments, Lori. Um, so this will be the third envelope that I've done, and I need to do six more with this. I don't think it takes a lot to do them. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Gosh, there's not a lot in here. This is supposed to do nine cards, but... Um, you don't want it too, ow, you don't want it too full because then you don't see everything else, I guess. Sometimes I tend to overfill my shaker cards and then they uh, they're too bulky. I'm telling you this stuff is sticky. There we go. Okay. Hi, Linda. Uh, no, this is not a paper pumpkin kit. This is um, in the online exclusives or the kit collection. It's called the Confetti Birthday Kit. It's a $23 all-inclusive kit. Now, I went and looked, and there are 29 kits, 29 kits that are available. Remember when they started the kit collection, there was only like, I don't even think there were 10. There we go. Now it's moving around. That looks good, right? And then we're going to adhere that to this. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to do that with more tear and tape. Okay. You might be able to get away with stamp and seal plus. I do agree. I think less is more. You don't need a ton of sequins in here. It's You want it to move around, and um, you want it to close properly, too. All right, so what I was going, what I was going to say is there are 29 kits right now online, and if you haven't noticed, they are coming out with a new kit now every month. And um, I was listening to another demonstrator, and she was saying that they, um, they're going to start to probably discontinue the ones that we've had for a really long time that are old paper pumpkin kits. They're not going to retire yet, but those will be the first to go because we've had them the longest. But as you guys know, Cole, who used to do the paper pumpkin marketing, he has now moved to the kits collection. He's doing all the kits now. And I think that our kits have just really, really um, improved. He did a fantastic job with marketing the last year or so. Um, and the paper pumpkin kits have really, really improved um, over the years. I've been super, super happy with my paper pumpkin kits. 
and just keep getting better and better. So, yep, Cole is now working um, in the kids collection. So, okay, look at how cute that is. That is adorable. All right, I got to add my sentiment on here, and it's going to go right here. Okay, and I'm just going to use my um, stamp and seal because it's here, and I don't want to do any more. Um, I don't want to do any more tear and tape. I'm going to save it for the projects. I mean, for the um, shaking part. All right, that's your first card. I have to say, I think it's really cute, you guys. Super cute. Now, um, I am noticing that a little bit of my bag is showing, so just be really careful with the placement. And you can't trim it, because if you do that, then your sequins are going to fall out. So we got to be careful that we don't let that show. Okay? You could just put a whole nother piece on top of it if you want, which I might do. I also don't like to have white. I like to have color and then do my white. So I'm probably going to dress up the insides of my cards a little bit. But that's just me. I'm kind of picky about that. All right, let's do the next one. All right. So uh, just want to remind you, it is June. There are so many good things happening. See, I already filled my bag to save time on this one. I'm going to move over the sequins. Um, and I popped out the four little um, squares, and you could use those on a card if you wanted to. Okay, and we're going to burnish that. So this one's going to look like a present, if I could keep my placemat straight. And what are we going to, this one's going to say, happy birthday. So let me ink up. All right. I think after my video, I will um, dress up my insides and then I'm going to take pictures and I'll post them for you guys. All right. Let me line this up. I'm going to move it down a little bit because I want to make sure that I am getting this where it needs to be because my boy, bifocals play games on me. All right. And like I said, I, I don't lift off right away. I like to let the ink soak in because it's a photopolymer. See, I went up a little bit too high, but we'll make do. If you don't like it, you can always turn it over and do it on the other side, but it's kind of hard. I'm trying not to get my head in the view. All right, now this is going to go right here. You could use your tear and tape. Um, I'm going to use just a little bit of liquid glue. Okay, we'll just do a little bit of liquid glue, just a couple dots. So as I've been prepping my kits for, oh, I got to sneeze, for um, my retreat, I've been catching up on movies. Oh my goodness, because I don't watch a lot of TV. When I'm teaching I just I don't here and there um, but as I'm sitting cutting stuff up I've been watching Netflix and Amazon Prime I watched two movies today they're really good um, one was called Lady in Gold and it has to do with art that was taken um, from Jewish families in Austria and um, Getting, getting that art back into the family's hands because it was taken um, by the Germans. And it was very, very good. It's based on a true story. What am I doing? See, I'm talking. I'm not paying attention. I got to do this part. And then the other movie I watched, and I got to remember what it was called, but it had to do with, it was during the 60s, and it was when they were trying to get the equal equal um, civil rights. and But at first, the, the law that they were trying to pass did not include women. And um, it's about 
getting women added to that because women did not have equal opportunities for employment and whatnot and pay. And it was very, very good. I can't remember what that movie was called. And that, I think that one was on Amazon. They were both good. I'm very choosy about what I watch. Both inspiring stories. All right. Ooh, stay where you need. Ugh, this stuff is sticky. And this is hard because it's clear, and so I gotta kind of make sure it's getting where it needs to go. Okay. Well, let's use this again to pull this off. Now, um, the kits, this is a great way to go if you're just starting out because they are all-inclusive. So they include, like I said, everything I showed you. And when everything's used up, you got the stamp set. So you can still play with it and make stuff. And it's so economical. This is only $23, plus you get a block. So these are great for people that are just starting out and don't have all the things, right? These are great for people that are just starting out because you're getting, you're even getting your ink. You know, it's very economical. What I also like about the kits is that they are portable. You can take them with you because you've got everything you need in it. You don't need fancy tools. I mean, you can take some tweezers with you or your U-Pick tool, a pair of scissors if you want. Um, but they're super easy and portable. They also make great gifts. These are things that seniors can use you know, we have seniors that are in um, retirement homes, and this would give them something to do. You could sit with your loved one and make cards. These are great for kids, depending on their um, patience level and ability to follow directions. Um, teens. And they're great for beginners or avid crafters. I mean, I like to sit and do kits because everything's done for me. I don't have to sit and design. I don't have to look at my stuff and say, okay, what's gonna, what do I wanna use? It's all there. Then if I wanna just snazz it up a little bit, then I can, no biggie. Okay, there's that one, and we're going to add our happy birthday to the bottom. All right. Um, I think I'm going to put that up on some dimensionals. They did give us some dimensionals. I'm not going to use mine. I'm going to use the one that I've already started. So I'll leave the one that came in the kit untouched. And I'll just use the one that I've already started working on. Um, so I was talking about June. I am all over the place. Um, designer series paper is on sale. And there are some fabulous packs. That's the second card. That's really cute, isn't it? And it doesn't take a lot. You get the effect. I like that. That's really cute. 
um, papers on sale. And then we have a great join deal. So if you have a wish list that's at least $100, you might as well just buy the starter kit because for $99, you're going to get $155 worth of product that you get to choose. And it has free shipping, which is about 20 something dollars. And you get a free paper pumpkin kit and you get a free box of catalogs that you can share. Now, some people want to do what I do and um, hold classes and a lot of people don't. Majority of our demonstrators that sign up actually are just what we call hobby demonstrators. They get the good deal and they enjoy a discount. You get a 20% discount if you stay active. And what I mean by that is to stay active, you do have a minimum that you need to purchase or sell every quarter. Um, it's about $100 a month. Well, I easily can spend $100 in, in a Hobby Lobby if I walk into there. So, I feel like since this is my hobby, this is what I enjoy doing in my spare time, it is totally worth it. Plus, I get a discount on my crafting supplies. Nobody likes to pay full price. I have made some awesome friends um, becoming a demonstrator and meeting new people. Don't you love how that backing just comes right off using this? Look at that. That's, that's so cool. Love it. So if you are thinking about it, if you've got a if you've got a, a wish list that's about a hundred dollars, you really, really should think about the starter kit. Because it is a fabulous, fabulous value right now. You normally it's $99 and you get $125 worth of product. Right now, for the month of June. It is $155 worth of product. Now, this one's going to be a little different. This is going to go on the top, all right? So if you're having questions, please reach out to me. Uh, most of my team members are happy shoppers, or what I call hobby demos. They signed up because they wanted the discount and they wanted the good deal. You do not have to do classes. All right. In July, there are going to be some brand new online exclusives. Hi, Julie. Happy Friday, friend. And I believe that they are holiday themed. We, as demonstrators, we get to see products before anybody else does. And there is a bundle that they let us pre-order. Now, I didn't buy the bundle because I wanted to see what other things are going to be um, released July 6th. I believe it's July 6th. But I did order the paper, and I am in love with the paper. Ah! I'm in love with it. And the embellishments are super cute. Now, in the uh, marketing that they've given us, there is a picture of a truck punch. You know how little red trucks have been super popular at Christmas time? Yeah, there's going to be a truck punch. You know that's going to be on my list. So I held out because I wanted to see what other things were going to be in the online exclusives. But I did get the paper and I did get the embellishments. I'll show you guys the paper if you stick around. Okay, right, that's really cute. And then we're going to put this right on top like that. Oh, 
I love my stamp and seal plus. Love it. Okay. So three designs and you get nine shaker cards plus you get to keep the stamp set and you have a block and an ink spot to use up after you've made all your cards. Really cute. I probably could have put more in this one, but it's all right. I think they're actually really cute cards. These would be, these would be really super cute to give to teenagers. I think they would love it. It's only $23 for nine cards. Plus you have the stamp set to use afterwards. Now, let me show you what I came up with using the same stamp set. Okay. Now I pulled the, um, the balloon, the balloon DSP. What's it called? What's it called? I was going to have the name for you guys. It's the bright and beautiful. So it's a six by six. So I used that paper with these. Okay. All right. So here's the first one. And I used the circle punches that are in the online exclusives. And this is the Knight of Navy new ribbon, but it goes really well with the, um, blueberry bushel ink. Okay. So I used the two sizes of circle punches there in the online exclusives. This right here is actually an extra from the kit. And I just put on a couple of rhinestones, super cute. And then there's this one. On this one, I still use the circle punch, but I also used the uh, nested, nested, what is it called? Nested essential dies. Okay. Oh, and I didn't show you guys the ins. Oh, I didn't do the inside on that one. I just put a little strip in there and then said happy birthday. And this ribbon, it's a trio. It's these three. Um, it's the sheer ribbon combo pack. So you get these three colors together and it has a really pretty silver lining in it. Little edging there. Okay. And then this one. So what I did on this was I punched a circle out of that and I put it here and I used both sizes. Isn't that cute? Super easy cards, you guys. And then this one. And this is Azure Afternoon. That's that ribbon combo pack. These are the, it's a different set of dies. Stylish shapes, stylish shapes. And there's the little candle. Super darling. So. I love the sentiments in the stamp set. I think that you're getting a fabulous deal. You're getting nine shaker cards, and then you get to use the stamp set to make more cards. That's what I love about our kits is when the kit is finished, you're not finished. You still have your ink, your block, and your stamps that you can play with and make more cards. It is a fabulous, fabulous value. Um, you know, those of us that are avid stampers and want all the things, you know, bundles can range from $35 on up to 60 something dollars. This is a great value. You're getting a stamp set ink and then your materials to make your nine cards. So this is really a great way to start out in this hobby when you don't have all the things and you can start building up your ink collection uh, economically because the ink pads are more money. They're about eight something a piece. Your ink is included. And if you don't ever buy the ink pads and you just use stamp and spots, you can always get the refills to make the ink fresh again and just keep using these. They are so economical. Plus they're great for travel. So my friends, I hope you have had fun and I hope that this has inspired you. Look at our kits. They really are stinking cute. Um, there's another kit that just came out. I'll show it to you real quick. It's beachy. 
I haven't played with it yet, but I'm going to. Let me put these aside. It's called Boho Beach. So let me just open this real quick and I'll show you. I'm not going to put it together, obviously, but I'll just show you what it looks like. There's a cute birthday card organizer kit. And I just bought that for myself. So you get that stamp set. This looks like sit back and relax, enjoy your day, and then some botanicals there. You get pecan pie. And then this one has two designs. And this one makes eight cards. And I think this is a $22 kit. So this is really cute. I wish I had bought more of these and I had them out for my retreat for people to buy. I only bought two of them. I should have bought more. That's really cute. And do I have any other kits sitting around here? I do. I have the, this is the um, organizer. So you got tape runner or um, double-sided turn tape. And then you get... You have two card designs, so you're going to get eight cards, plus you get the birthday card organizer. I'm going to open this one because I want to see what this looks like. I want to get better at sending my cards out, so I bought the organizer so I can write down everybody's birthday so I don't forget. My grandma used to have one of these, and she would have the birthday cards that she bought in it. So you can um, write what the month is and you can write the people, you know, like if their birthday was on the 13th or the 20th, you write their name and then you put the cards in here. I love this. I don't remember how much this one is. And then you're going to make eight cards with it also. So... There's just a couple so that you can see. There's a really cute flower wreath. I have not made that one yet. Um, there's a get well kit. I think the most popular kits are the birthday card. Oh, I was going to show you the Christmas paper. The birthday um, kits are the most popular. All right. I guess I'm going to have to open. I have one package that's open, and do you think I know where it is? No. Who knows where it is? All right. This is adorable paper, you guys. I bought two packs. I know I'm going to go through more. So this is going to be available to you July 6th. It is stinking cute. Look at that. What are the colors? Black, boho blue, Cajun craze, crumb cake, early espresso, lemon lolly, lost lagoon, misty moonlight, mossy meadow, old olive, pebbled path, pecan pie, petal pink, pool party, real red, and wild wheat. Gosh, that's a lot of colors. All right, so there's that little cabin and then that and then red and trees. Okay. And then look at this adorable fox. Love that. And then bark. Okay. And then that. That's pretty. And that. Ooh, I like that. And then that one. That's pretty with the trees. And then blue. That's pretty. And then Mossy Meadow. And what's this one? Oops. A cute little deer. That's adorable. And then now we've got the blues. That's pretty. Okay. And some stripes. Oh, that's cool. Like a bird's eye view. Okay, and then look at this little, sh little cute cabin or chalet with the Christmas lights on it and then that. 
And then that, that's pretty. That's pretty, like morning time. And that with the greens. And then trees. And then red. And the last one, a snowy meadow. Super cute, huh? You get 48 sheets. So this is going to be available to customers July 6th. Demonstrators can buy it now. All right, guys. This is called One Horse Open Sleigh. All right, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your evening. Enjoy the weekend. My kids come home from camp tomorrow. I think hubby and I are going to escape in the morning and go get breakfast before they come home. It's been nice um, having... The house to ourselves for a week but I'm ready for my kids to come home too <laughs> so enjoy your weekend everyone and uh, if you're attending my retreat I'm still finishing up a little bit but I'm super excited and then July 1st we are going to have my next in-person class and it's gonna be Christmas in July so that'll be fun and as always, I will post my projects online too, so you can see those. All right. Okay, everyone, take care, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.